Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Three news stories. Firstly, we have Ethiopia criticized the EU in a statement last night. Uh, two days ago, EU suspended issuance of uh, some visas to Ethiopians. Laws have been modified regarding issuance of new visas to Ethiopians. Ethiopia last night issued a statement, very strong statement, accusing the EU of uh, denying uh, legal right to live in Europe. Secondly, uh, Somalia viewers, uh, a strong statement from Arab countries and some Central African, uh, Central American, uh, Central Asian countries in support of Somalia. Uh, third session of Arab Economic Cooperation Forum was held in Doha, Qatar. Yesterday, a joint statement came, 14 page statement. Uh, Ethiopia, Somali land MOU was also mentioned in the statement. Uh, thirdly, viewers, the Fano fighters are claiming to have killed uh, an administrator of uh, a district in the Amhara region. They claim that the mayor was injured, administrator uh, was killed in this ambush attack in the Amhara region. Firstly, viewers, uh, Two days ago, European Union announced some changes to the policy of issuance of visas to Ethiopians. Processing time has been increased from 15 days to 45 days. And some elements of the law have been amended. Visas are not going to be issued freely to Ethiopians. Why? When EU suspended uh, some types of issue, uh, visa issuance to Ethiopians, it said that it was due to non-cooperation or lack of cooperation from Ethiopian government about the repatriation of Ethiopians living illegally, residing illegally, staying illegally in Europe. Then came the response. Last night, Ethiopian embassy in Brussels issued a statement. Very strong statement. Ethiopia says that uh, Ethiopians are being denied legal permits to live in Europe with dignity and safely. This legal right or issuance of legal permit is being denied. Ethiopia is accusing the EU. The EU is denying the legal rights to Ethiopia. It's a very strongly worded statement. Secondly, Ethiopia says that uh, the uh, process to establish the identities of uh, people uh, who EU says should be repatriated is uh, a difficult process. It means that maybe there are some other nationalities in Europe, in the guise of Ethiopians, from other African countries, from neighboring countries, Ethiopia cannot uh, repatriate all these Africans who managed to get uh, some permits to stay in Europe, uh, disguising themselves as Ethiopians. That is why uh, it's a difficult process, but Ethiopia has been cooperating with the EU. Ethiopia is dismayed at the announcement by the EU to temporarily suspend some elements of the law governing issuance of visas to Ethiopians. So Ethiopia seems to be rejecting the EU position, saying it is cooperating with the EU. EU is denying uh, due rights to Ethiopians. How will this issue be solved? Let, let's see. Uh, EU, US are two key players when it comes to uh, issuance of loans and grants uh, to recipients, World Bank, IMF, both uh, look towards US and Europe before approving new loans, grants. Uh, so while if you open in talks with IMF and World Bank, uh, for loans, grants, bailout packages, this deterioration of relations between the two sides could 
obstruct Ethiopian efforts for financial support from the IMF and World Bank, it seems. Secondly, viewers, uh, support for Somalia. Just yesterday, we heard from Somali lands uh, foreign minister that uh, Somali land and Ethiopia are going to implement the AMU within two months. And that three uh, locations had been finalized for the building of Ethiopian naval base in Somali land. And in the meeting, final decision will be made by Ethiopians. And in the same day, Ethiopia was recognized by land as a country. It was said by Dr. Isa Kaidi around 48 hours ago. Uh, then came statement in support of Somalia from Qatar. In Qatar, Arab Economic Cooperation Forum was held, third such forum, with participation of the Foreign Minister of all Arab countries, participation of Azerbaijan and some Central Asian countries like uh, Kyrgyzstan, etc. And their uh, joint statement came, 14 page statement covering the issues of all these countries which were part of the forum. Somalia's uh, foreign minister was there too, Ahmed Fiki, newly appointed, a very strong critic of Ethiopia. And the statement from the countries of uh, Arab Economic Cooperation Forum strongly supported Somalia's right uh, to protect its a sovereignty and territorial integrity by air, on land, and uh, on sea as well. Saying that Somalia has every right to protect its land, sea, and air. Uh, it has every right to resort to all measures. It's a very strong statement in support of Somalia. Though it's, it's just a statement, what will these countries do? If Ethiopia implements the MOU with uh, Somaliland, will they practically support uh, Somalia or not? Ahmed Feke, the Somalia's foreign affairs minister, spoke there too. And he said that uh, if any consequences emanate from this MOU, which is null and void, whether consequences are military, political, diplomatic, its responsibility will be with Ethiopia. Ethiopia will be responsible for any consequences which might arise as a result of uh, the AMU, which is now avoid internationally. In a way, Ahmed Fiki threatened Ethiopia that Somalia will resort to all measures, political, diplomatic, uh, military, etc. But it won't let Ethiopia implement the MOU. Let's see, we'll have to see how far these countries will go in supporting Somalia. Issuing of statements definitely means a lot, but uh, practical uh, support matters more. Which of these countries will practically support uh, Somalia? And by the way, Ahmed Fiki, when he spoke there at this uh, forum, he tried to make this issue Arab versus non-Arab issue. Uh, Muslim versus non-Muslim issue. He said that this is a matter of the Arab national security. New geopolitical reality should be established. Otherwise, Arab national security in the Red Sea and the Red Sea could be in danger. He was implying that what Ethiopia is doing Signing the MOU, implementing the MOU is a violation or a threat to Arab world. So, entire Arab world should unite. Arab, non-Arab, uh, Muslim, non-Muslim uh, conflict, Somalia is trying to create by uh, raising this issue and by uh, pointing uh, towards this aspect of the MOU. Ethiopia denies it says it's a bilateral uh, deal. Uh, Ethiopia trying to engage Somalia, but Ethiopia did not engage Somalia when there was need to engage Somalia before the signing of the MOU. Now, when MOU has been signed, it could be it could turn into an agreement. Ethiopia wants to talk to Somalia. Somalia rejects Ethiopian efforts to talk, says Ethiopia should withdraw from the MOU, only then talks can be had. Thirdly, was Amhara region of Ethiopia where 
assassination is uh, a stated tactic adopted by Fano fighters. They carried out uh, dozens of assassinations in the Mahara region so far. Uh, in different ways, they carry out attacks, which are ambush attacks. They attack police stations, they attack residences too. They have advanced intelligence about the whereabouts of uh, regional zonal government officials. And they try to uh, target them. And these government officials are heavily protected, by the way. Sometimes ENDF convoys protect them, but still, Fano fighters manage to carry out attacks on them. Attack was carried out according to Fano sources. They are claiming that uh, some leaders from Lasta, Lalibela, attended a meeting in Voldia. Uh, this week, and they were returning from the meeting when Fano Fari carried out this attack, ambush attack, obviously, on the convoy. The convoy was protected by Ethiopian National Defense Force, according to Fano sources. And, but ambush attack uh, was so fierce and quick. ENDF suffered losses, ENDF security guards were killed. And uh, last war, uh, the administrator was killed in this attack. Gitacho Malasse is his name. Again, this is a claim coming from Fano Group. Lali Bala mayor was injured. Vurdomo. He and the head of Lali Bala uh, health wing, city's health wing, both were injured and they were taken to a hospital. But Gitacho Malise has been killed. We are waiting for confirmation. Uh, no denial so far, by the way, from Lali Bala city government. Uh, we got confirmation about this attack, by the way. The people have confirmed that the attack was carried out and the gunfire was heard for several, for, for uh, less than an hour in the area. Attack did happen. But uh, was Gatacho Malice a kill? I don't know. Because Fano fighters sometimes uh, exaggerate their actions. Uh, you know that they claim to have killed uh, an ENDF officer. They called him a general. Later, it, it was revealed that he was alive. Uh, so, let's see. We'll have to verify more. Uh, but attack is being confirmed by the sources on the ground. Thanks for watching.